Okay, day there once again viewers, this is your mate Kamikaze78 here, coming to you guys with some more Planet Side 2 content. Today guys, we're going to be coming back to the Time to Gear Up series, the series that puts you guys in the pilot seat. This here is the series where you guys can put some of your craziest loadouts in the comment section down below, whether they be designed to score some absolutely maniacal KDRs, or designed to ruin my already diminishing sanity, and the highest rated comment will be selected to be featured in the next episode. Now, I should clarify that you can get as creative here as you want with the loadouts. Hell, you can even give me a backstory for it too. But some of you more observational folks in the audience will have noticed how long it's been since we ran the series here on the channel. And with that, I want to give you guys a quick explanation behind that. Simply put, guys, I spent a whole lot of time trying to grind out an implant that was critical to the last top-rated loadout that we received. I still don't have it. It's been about, what, six months, eight months now? And it hurt the momentum of the series. So I'm going to establish a couple of ground rules here for the future of the series. Firstly, if you're going to make a loadout suggestion that is heavily implant focused, it needs to be on the NC, as that is where I have my largest implant collection and where I can continue to grow on that implant collection easier. And next up, no classes that rely on ASP perks. Now I know that's a pretty big one, ASP perks have become a bit of a creative outlet for really wacky loadouts in the late stage of the game. But guys, I simply can't keep re-rolling ASP perks to accommodate for the consistent amount of suggestions I get for them in this series. So absolutely no ASP related stuff. I know that sucks, but that's something I've got to keep enforced here. So, with formalities out of the way, today's loadout comes from Orion Bell, who is bringing us a loadout named, and I quote, that one guy who bought a bunch of stuff with real money but has no clue how the game works. And let's be honest here, that's a mouthful. Hell, I won't even be able to fit that name into a YouTube title. So, with that in mind, we're going to paraphrase it down to this. The Idiot. The Idiot starts off by taking a rather interesting NSX Daimyo primary weapon with a 12 times sniper scope and a weighted receiver, which for those who don't know, it's a semi-automatic sniper rifle that puts out a rather pitiful damage output against body shots, but headshots will almost always guarantee you a kill, which makes this a pretty devastating weapon in the right hands. Unfortunately, this weapon is in my hands, which therefore means it is not in the right hands at all. And yeah, look, a 12 times scope is not my first pick with this thing either, but I digress. It still isn't the worst weapon in the game, and isn't a bad start to the loadout, actually. Ryan then requests that we use the T4 amp sidearm with a laser sight for the secondary, but because I had to play NC due to implant availability, I decided that I would self-nominate myself one of the most painful things I could come up with here to make it up to Ryan the candy cannon, and I mean, it is functionally as effective as the T4 amp in many ways, both can rarely kill in one mag, both have too little ammo, and both are just a bit meme from time to time, but I still would have honestly preferred to have taken the bloody amp over this thing anyway, so I feel as though I'm hurting myself more here by playing the NC, but, you know, is what it is. Um, but surely there's something beyond the weapons here to save this already collapsing shit show from getting any further down into the sewers. Uh, nope. The knife that we have here on this loadout is the NSX, and I'm gonna butch this name, I apologize. Ama Amateresu? Oh god, I knew I got that wrong. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce the name. Ama Amateresu? We'll go with that. Uh, which Ryan states, and I quote, just so we can be sure you won't accomplish anything at all, which for those who don't know, is the knife that you can unlock that allows you to throw slow moving projectiles from it towards your enemies that do decent damage, but the knife itself deals a fraction of what normal knives do in normal scenarios. In addition, we also have the ability slot, a series of words that may as well trigger me in some secretive form of PTSD, which is the nano armor cloak, that's okay, that's okay. Maybe I've got some sort of grenade that will at least be able to make me cause enough chaos that will allow for me to work on collecting any scrap kills that pop up. Nah, let's not actually. Ryan wants me to run with the goddamn Fujin throwing knives. And you know what? Fuck it, let's double down on this fact with the grenade bandolier on this loadout. Fucking great. <laughs> On top of this, we're also running anti-personnel mines in case we ever live long enough to place these downs, but also have someone as silly enough 
to run over them. We're also running Assimilate and Athlete to boot, but Assimilate was actually a piece of the puzzle that fit in the grand scheme of things here. It rewarded the headshots that I got for uh, killing people with the Daimyo, which in turn also gave me some much needed boost to my Nano Armor Cloak, but more on that in a few minutes. So, what does it cost to run a loadout like this? Well, it definitely isn't the most expensive loadout to have ever emerged out of this series, not by a long shot, but, and I do say a big old but here, the throwing knives do require you to get to gold level on the NSX series directive, which means you need to invest in some other weapons to get the knives first. But the minimum cost of the loadout, when you look at it just in the context of the loadout itself, is 2350 certs for your skeleton crew version of the kit, all the basic stuff before upgrading it all, and then ranging all the way up to 6310 certs for the full shebang. Also remember to add your implant grinding fees here too. These costs do not consider how much it costs to get implants certed up and maxed out on this loadout. So that is the idiot loadout and I want to make a quick public service announcement here. For those who are looking at this loadout and are thinking to themselves, well, I don't know why you decided to call the thing something so brutal. This is a sweet looking loadout. I want you to navigate to the description down below, find my discord and message me. I will help you through this time. For my fellow community members who see a newer player with a kit like this, you too can help make a difference. Guide them to the light of loadouts that work, and I promise you, we can make the new player experience great again. <laughs> Seriously, guys, this loadout is a jumbled mess that takes the word synergy and just sort of finds its page in the dictionary and puts it through a paper shredder. Like, seriously, this loadout hurts me to use it. The Daimyo is an alright weapon, sure, but I wouldn't put it at the point of being an A-grade tier weapon that I would take over my trusty EM4 Longshot or SASR. And the Nano Armor Cloak, oh my god. I apologize if you like using this cloak, but honest to god, I hate this ability so much. Now, I may just not be using it right as a player, and I will admit, if there was a way to use it, it's not in this context with this loadout. But sweet mother of Jesus, holy shit, I was running out of cloaking energy so often to the point where I just plain stopped using it from time to time and just decided, you know what, if I'm gonna die, I may as well die knowing I did it in style. <laughs> And the main issue that I did have here was how often I was running out of cloaking energy. You really are not meant to snipe with this cloaking device at all. I would have been in some hell of a sniper standoff with some bloke off in the distance, waiting for one of us to pull the pin on our cloaking device, only for my character to have his head taken off because the enemy player wasn't so much of a numpty that he was running nano armor cloak on a goddamn sniping loadout. I mean, yes, I can see why this cloaking option would be attractive in some CQC environments, and there's a big old sum in quotation marks put there, but it's a no from me, boss. <laughs> this loadout was also the very first time I had a chance to run the Fugin throwing knives as well, and I've got to say, just don't, unless you're looking for a hell of a meme time. Yes, they are hilarious to use when you do something cool with them, but missing out on having a grenade was just so bloody devastating. An EMP grenade would have at least been something nice to soften up enemies with, to go on knifing sprees with. But nope, I was even robbed of that possibility thanks to the choice of not only the grenade option, but the melee choice in the loadout too. It was overall just a painful loadout to use, and Ryan certainly put me through my pieces here. But, and this is probably one of the most hilarious things about this loadout, I actually, for brief moments, between my moments of contemplating how much to abuse my mouse and how much abuse it could take, I found myself having fun at times. I know, right? That's, that's a word you probably didn't expect to hear me say in this video, fun. There were times where, like what you saw in the intro clip, where I was actually having a good old laugh with what I was doing. Every kill I got in stupid situations was rewarding as they come. So, it sort of kept things fresh in its own rewarding, quote-unquote, hating yourself kind of way. And for that, I thank Ryan for bringing me his version of Satan's Wet Dream. The only point of synergy that really existed in this loadout was between the NSSX Daimyo and the fact that you had Assimilate, because the Daimyo requires you to get headshots, Assimilate rewards you for those headshots by giving you better shield health, as well as by giving you more ability charge when you get it to the max rank. So it actually ended up helping quite a lot, and if you are someone who enjoys running Nano Armor Cloak, I would recommend taking a max rank in Civilite, just to ensure that every time you get a kill scoring headshots, you're going to get a 
touch of your ability energy back, which is a godsend for an ability that you're so reliant on, but runs out of energy so, so quickly. And guys, that wraps up today's episode of the Time to Gear Up series. I'm looking forward to continuing this series, guys. I do apologize for how long it took me to get uh, this next episode up, but I'm hoping that with these new ground rules in place for this series that we can continue it on a more regular occurrence. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, a backhand in the like button would be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, consider backhanding that subscribe button whilst you're at it. If you've been around for a while and you're looking to support the channel further, consider becoming a member. You guys get a couple of extra bonuses with that as well, which, you know, helps to, you know, reward you guys and keep the channel going on a regular occurrence. Once again, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.